Hey guys, I'm Cast the Nerd, and this is why you shouldn't use dollar store razors. Take it easy, man. Hey nerds, alright, so, um, recently I uploaded a car vlog video and it did extremely well. Um, like overnight it got like 50 views, which you might think, oh, that's not a whole lot. When you're a small channel like me, that's pretty darn good. So I thought maybe I should start doing more, um, kind of a situational vlogs, I guess you can call them. I'm not sure, but anyways, I'm, well, I mean, my work day is over, but, um, I was sent out not to the Detroit area. I'm actually in Madison Heights right now in a Hampton Inn, and you probably figure where I am now, but oh well, you know, you won't know which room I'm in. Either way, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm out here working this week. I will be back, maybe not necessarily around here next weekend, but somewhere near Detroit next week as well. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to be in Indianapolis. So I figured maybe, you know, while I'm out of town, I might do some short vlogs like this, kind of keep you up to date. Um, some might go up on my vlogging channel, which I haven't done any videos for, by the way, I apologize. But because this is going on my Pokemon channel, um, while I'm out here, I actually found some... Um, Flash Fire Dollar Tree packs when I was at a Dollar Tree just doing my thing. So I think I'm going to make this regular thing when I'm out of town. I'm going to do kind of like little vlogs like this uh, whenever I find a neat little uh, Pokemon related product to uh, open up for you guys. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So hopefully we can get some cool stuff in here. You can get, um, I think Kev over at 716 Gaming pulled a Mega Charizard from this. At least that's what he told me. I don't remember if I've seen that episode. It is. My phone just buzzed. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have some food on order, by the way, so if that comes, I might end up pausing this to go get the food. Um, yeah. Actually, I got some sushi. Sushi. Sushi I ordered. So, anyways, let's open this up. It's kind of nice opening up some, uh, some flash fire packs. So I don't, well, I mean, even if they're Dollar Tree packs. This is not something I get to do very often uh, because flash fire packs are pretty hard to come by these days. So we got ourselves mm -hmm. a Fletchender, a Shinx, and we got, oh, it's a reverse. It's a reverse Avalog that is only an uncommon, but, you know, not bad. You know, from Dollar Tree Pack, if you get a reverse, that's all right by me. And we got 10 of them, by the way, <laughs> just in case you wanted to know. I got 10 of these packs. It was what they had. They had a bunch of other uh, ones there. Uh, but they had Furious Fist, which I'm not a huge fan of, and, um, yeah, and then they had some Sun and Moon, but I wanted to pick these up just because these are so much harder to find. All right, Palpad, uh, Spritzy, and our rare is a, well, Lilio, and it's not necessarily a rare, it's the middle card. If there's a rare card, it will be the middle one. All right, come on, Mega Kangaskhan, bring us the goods. You know, generally speaking, these packs really aren't worth the money. I mean, I got 30 cards for about $10, which is, about, which is obviously the same as three booster packs, which I realize would go for $12, but you're guaranteed a rare in every pack along with the reverse. So, mm, it's only really worth it if you pull something decent like an EX or better out of it. So, anyways, uh, first one is a Duskull. Our second card is a Snorlax, and I believe that's a rare. Yes, I forgot to do the pack trick, but yes. So we did get a pull of rare, Snorlax, which I believe is the same one as in the Generations box, which I, uh, or Generations box, Generations set that I have pulled a million and one of. But, again, pulling a rare from a um, dollar store pack is pretty good. Plus, I don't think I have the, uh, the Flash Fire version of that one, so, you know, just because I have the one in the other set doesn't mean it isn't okay to pull the one in this set. Okay, so one to the front, and here we go. We're starting off with a Croco Rock. Uh, yeah, that's an uncommon. Uh, let's see, the second card is a Stunky, which is a common, and the rare, or the, well, okay, not the rare. I'm going to guess. Oh, it is a rare card, though. It is a rare Durant, so. Uh, okay, so not bad, not bad. Two rare cards so far. So, I mean, technically, like I said, if this was three packs, at least we got two rares. If we get another rare, at least we've gotten, you know, the regular packs worth of rares. Anyway, so our first one is a Furfro, which that is a uncommon. 
The next one is a flip baby. That's uh, just a common. And the mystery slot is a Celio reverse. And that is just an uncommon. But again, or wow, well, I we got two rares, two reverses. So if we get one more reverse and one more rare, at least we got our proper pulls for this amount of cards. We pulled regular paper. Pulled regular booster packs. Let's see. Anyways. So our first one, we got ourselves a pie pad. Uh, the second one is a Sneasel, and the last one is a fl Fletch in the reverse. It's uncommon, so, oh, I'm doing, as far as, uh, you know, Dollar Tree packs, I'm doing all right. I kind of, let's see, I got this, I got three more, so it's four total, counting this one right here. I'd really like to get one decent pull out of this, just, just to kind of make it worth the $10 I spent on these cards. <laughs> You know, I know and I realize that Pokemon in general is a money sink. You're not going to make money off of it. But it's always nice when you get something worth it. So we got a Pokemon Center. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, so we got Pokemon Center Lady. Binnacle. And, oh, I feel... Oh my god. Toxicroak EX Full Art. Yes. Oh, this is a card I didn't know I wanted. But I want it so bad. Now look at that. Look at that. This... This is one of the best dollar store. This is the. Oh my God. I, I recorded one a while back. It was going to be a car vlog, and then I accidentally deleted it. So there's no accidentally deleting this one, though. Wow. That, this is already worth it. This is worth it for the pulls. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> nice. Always nice. Even if it's not something that's that great, but still, you know, it's not something you expect to pull from a Dollar Tree pack. So we got ourselves a. Yeah, Rosemary. I pay more attention, should I? Uh, Phoebus. And, well, yeah, just a Geodude, which I believe this was also reprinted in Generations. So, one of these were uh, reprinted again in later sets. And I just got all these piles of cards that I've just tossed to the side. Uh, I still have two packs left, so there's a chance. We might still get something else. Set that aside. All right, starting off, we got ourselves a Metapod, a Ponyta, and a ooh, okay, another reverse, a Quillfish, and that is a reverse rare. I am. Mm -hmm. These are probably the best. Wow, the best Dollar Tree packs I've pulled so far. I, I am not arguing with these packs. So whatever I get out of this is, you know, is kind of whatever at this point. One. All right. So we're starting off with a Roserade. Uh, Buizel. And our last one is just a common card. Uh, Fletchling. So, I mean, we can't really... um. <laughs> I can't argue with these. I can't. It's just, you just don't know with these kind of pulls. Oh, oh goodness. So let's, uh, let's go over uh -huh. these real quick. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. So let me look. I'm sorry. This is just taking me a second to kind of organize these in some kind of fashion. All right. So we got ourselves a Durant. Regular rare. We got our oh goodness. Snorlax, regular rare. Avalog, reverse, that is just an uncommon. Fletchender, reverse, uncommon. Celio, reverse, uncommon. Quillfish, reverse, rare. And of course, the Toxicroak EX Full Art Ultra Rare. Those are pretty sweet. Anyways, nerds, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like me to do more hotel vlogs, more car vlogs, let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, so uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you have not. And please, I hope I haven't offended you with my um, dollar store nick. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one.